and welcome to yet another exciting edition of Canvasity series on New TV Africa. My name is Ayo Wekwasi Ayodili and always with me is Makinde Tinola. Thanks for joining us again on this very interesting episode of Canvasity series. Yep. Um, today we're bringing you two interesting components and that is the PIO and the Crapolin. First, we'll be talking about the PIO from uh, using our delegates from Bauchi, our yeah. Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah. And the interesting topic he talked about was um, vulnerable classes and dilapidated buildings that they use in primary and secondary schools in Bauchi State. It's, it's quite interesting to see young people getting interested. Aggressive in, about things that are not working in Nigeria. Yes. The hell the better. Very important key mm -hmm. issues like education. I can imagine um, picturing myself in a classroom where rain is falling and it's directly on me. No, no, no. For people like us that went to well-privileged communities. You know, that when schools. it's raining and it's cold, they, they turn on the heater. And when it's really hot, they turn on the AC. You know, but not everybody has that kind of privilege. Mm. Yeah. But the little we can do with it, with, that is doing with the Ministry of Health and all of Suburb and Uberb, yes. just to make them buy into the idea that, man, these people need to Education need a very is a, good is shelter. A very, very, very... Yeah. It, every developed country because works with education. Because it will actually improve our economic standard in, in Nigeria. Yes. If we can take care of the educational sector. It's such a great thing to know that young people are getting attached, seriously attached, and are showing aggression on issues that are very, very important. Mm -hmm. And also today we're going to be calling David, our Liberian participant. participant. From Liberia. We're going to be hearing lots of things concerning his PIO and his crowd pulling and events. The difference between and the difference their between their democracy and, and ours. And that is going to be an eye-opener for some of us. Yeah. And you're going to be hearing him live as we make this call. Hello, David. Hello, this is David. Yeah, this is Ayo, Ayo Miposi and Tinu. From Young Stars Foundation. From Young Stars Foundation. You're live on Canvas series, UTV Africa. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. David, we just want to air... Hello. Hello. Yeah, David, we just want to hear from you how you, how you went about your PIO in Liberia. Yeah, I my, my PR was, was fantastic. It was very good. Yeah. Uh, I did it at a university in Nigeria. It is called the Western Studies University. Wow. In Central Town. Okay. And we have a couple of results. University students from different backgrounds. Yes. They were here, and people who have come to seek knowledge and different sets of assessments. Okay. So then I came back to my birth from Nigeria. Who has gone away because many of the students wanted to know, actually, being that most students from Nigeria do not travel often to the hospital like exchange program. Wow. But especially when I think that just students that have come from a uh, program that come from that today, knowing that democracy and democracy work, how can the current school of their own diversity issue to solve problems that are created? Yes. Yes. Many students wanted to explain that. You know, we cannot go and have a program where we have more than 100 students in Africa. So, firstly, I I I come as a to go to it in order to sustain the program. Okay. Really, I started with the basis of democracy. Wow. Fantastic. Um, David. Uh, David. So, democracy actually works. Hello. Hello, David. So, can you tell us if there's any difference so far um, between Nigeria and Liberian democracy or governance? Yeah. Democracy is being Hello. So we just heard from our international participant from Liberia, and he's so excited about his encounter with Nigerian democracy. Yeah. He said, um, the, the most interesting part of it was he said when he got back to Liberia, people wanted to know really what the difference is in Nigeria. And he said something about exchange rates, yes. how they do their things in yes. Nigeria. Apparently, it's different from how they do theirs in Liberia. What do you think? I, I think generally we have issues around uh, mentality, okay. culture, mm. and then... Oh, sorry to cut you. Were they ruled by a female president at some point? Yes, time? yes. Interesting. Yes. Moving forward from David's call, we're mm. moving to crowd pulling. And, it, and another interesting issue mm -hmm. that a young person is tackling mm -hmm. with um, the Ramadan yeah, um, he leveraged on annual, the Ramadan annual symposium, mm -hmm. yeah, where he talked about how to fund the Alimajiris and how to take care of them and things like that. And kicking against something, something. 
yeah, something, something yeah, about yeah, Marjorie. Yeah. <laughs> Can you let me know that that's, really? That's, that's, that's really a strong aspect of the North that is saying that they have needs and he wants to help. He, he needs um, a way to find, uh, a way to help the young people that are going out to beg and Okay, so to avoid that uh, all to, to, to avoid being misused mm -hmm. by other okay, people. Okay, because you, this, um, this, um, this era of killing a child, using them for rituals, is rampant, and those are the kids they need. So kick, that campaign to kick against it, I think, is a very good one. It's, it's actually mm -hmm. saving the street of so many but, things. But how does it want to empower? Is it trying to do that, kick against it, to empower them, get them jobs, and all of that? I, I think from what we have in his um, canvas, mm -hmm. is something that he wants to go back, get them educated with the phone. And partner and with agencies. Partner with fun. agencies on that. And so many things on family and things like that. But from, from, from what we have today, we're glad to have you with us. And we're going to be giving you lots of information on our participants from Canvas City. For further information on Canvas City, please follow the information on your TV screen. And my name is Ayomikwasi Ayodili. My name is Mark Vinci. From our end, we're saying bye. bye.